guys, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and today it is Telly Tuesday, and we're going to do Spec Check with Brandon Soriano. Whoa! Whoa! Oh what God. is that? It's a little, uh, like, jazz bass pickup Somebody's cover. Somebody's probably looking cover. for that. It was just sitting right here. <laughs> <laughs> it's just sitting there. Wow, okay. <laughs> this comment should be revoked, but we'll read it anyway. Oh, no. <laughs> Brandon chose it. Brandon chose this comment. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, it's cool. Um, okay, so every, or once a week on Tuesday, we give away a shirt for our favorite comment. And this one is from Kendall Koval. And it says, I love this new format. Format. <laughs> I love the Brandon official spec check and Lemo's playing. What a deadly combina combination. Keep this up. Well, thank you so much. We're, Thanks, we like Kendall. doing it. Yeah. And yeah, Brandon knows his shit, so it's pretty cool. It is and true. And Mike knows how to play, so that's pretty cool. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Well, we had a really cool guitar today, don't we? This is one of Brandon my wants favorites. It. Oh, my. No, 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 no. It's not, not like that. It. <laughs> it's one of my favorites, though, that has come through in a while. So if you know me at all, you know I'm a big old Telecaster nerd. And uh, this is from the Fender Custom Shop. And it's not quite a Tele, but it is a Heavy Relic Esquire. Ooh. Oh, my okay. God. This thing is so cool, you guys. So the Esquire is a uh, very interesting guitar. The Esquire first came out alongside the original Broadcaster. The Broadcaster eventually became the Telecaster. So in 1950, Fender was offering a Broadcaster with two pickups and an Esquire with a single pickup. Um, this guitar in, per in particular would be a reissue of a 1950 guitar for a few different reasons, but mainly you can tell right away just by the, uh, the types of screws that are in here. These are not Phillips head screws. These are just little flathead screws, um, and they switched over from those pretty early on in the Telecaster Esquire history. So that's always a sure tell sign that it's an early, early reissue. Um, another thing about this guitar, so we covered the single pickup, but it's a flat pole piece pickup. Talk about this all the time. I love the flat pole piece Telecaster bridge pickup as opposed to the staggered pole piece where you'll see all these six little pole pieces height staggered. The thing about the flat pull piece pickup is that from this style, as opposed to the staggered one, you're going to get more presence. It's very similar to taking the presence knob on a Fender amp and just cranking it a little. You're going to get more bass response and you're actually going to get a more even output from string to string. So the reason that some people like the staggered pole piece pickup is because they feel like sometimes the flat pole overwhelms the bass response of your amp. So I have noticed uh, when I'm using a flat pole piece, the bass on the amp is usually going to be a little bit lower. And when I have a staggered one, I'm going to want to turn that bass up and probably turn that presence knob up a little bit. But I prefer these personally because they just kind of do it for you. Yeah. I like more bass. I like more presence. It's a punchy, big, beefy sound combined with you still still get the twang of a Telecaster or Esquire bridge. It's very bright, twangy, cutting pickup. Um, so the way the wiring works on this specific one, Esquires have a bunch of different types of wiring that people like to use. This position back here, you're getting the pickup going through the volume and the tone circuit. So you can use your volume knob, you can use your tone knob. In the middle position, you're getting the pickup going only through the volume knob, bypassing the tone and going straight out. So you can use the volume still, but in the middle, if you try to use that tone, it's not gonna do anything. And then in this uh, final position, it's just the pickup bypassing all of this and it just goes straight out. Um, a lot of people don't realize that uh, putting the pickup straight out of the guitar, as opposed to passing it through a potentiometer like a volume pot, it actually does have a different sound. Every potentiometer, even if it's all the way up at 10, does have an effect on the tone. Some high end might get cut off. Uh, and so going straight out does give you this open, big, loud, bright sound. Um, I like this setup a lot because there's no dark circuit, but if you wanted to, you could kind of fake the dark circuit by using this back position and just turning the tone off. And then when you want to go into a regular sound, you just flip it over and, and the tone is now disengaged. So it's going to go back to that bright tone. So I like that a lot. The neck on this is amazing. It's extremely relic, as you can see. We haven't even looked at the wow. back yet. Really a heavy relic, which it does change the feel. I mean, look at that work. Changes the feel of the guitar in your hands quite a bit. It, it does. feels like you're playing an old vintage uh, vibed out guitar. The wood is sanded down so it's not glossy and sticky. Um, the case with this is a beautiful 
Fender Custom Shop tweed case with a red interior. This is a G&G &G case, and it looks like we have all the goodies in here. So you've got your COA, little Custom Shop strap. You've got the ashtray in there, the bridge cover that is referred to as the ashtray, um, and all of that kind of stuff. So the guitar sounds incredible. It feels great. I love it, and Michael's going to go play it. Let's do it. Let's see what it sounds like. Cool sound. Ooh. I like it. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Well, we're out front with the Fender Custom Shop Limited 50s Esquire Relic. Really cool guitar. Um, yeah, actually has a lot of sounds for having that one pickup. Uh, we're also going through a 1967 Fender Deluxe Reverb, starting off on the first selector where the tone knob is now engaged. So we're going to turn it down and uh, you'll get kind of like a moodier sound. Let's, let's see what we get. there. Let's check it out.
Esquire, really cool guitar, and it's got that really amazing wear on the neck. Uh, you can check them all out at normansrareguitars.com and also on Instagram and Facebook. I'm your host, Michael Lemo. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> that was awesome. Cool. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> 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 <laughs>